It's robbery weekend in college football, but also the playoffs in Division II, as well as the FCS level. In Division II, Lenore Ryan took on undefeated Benedict with a spot in the quarterfinals on the line. And today, the Bears made some history. Cam Gaskins has more from Columbia, South Carolina. Coming into today, there are two things that Lenore Ryan has never accomplished as a program. That is win a playoff game on the road and beat a team in the top 10 of the AFCA coaches poll. Well, today, the Bears would have to check both of those items off their list if they wanted to reach the quarterfinals for the first time since 2019. Despite these two teams having two of the top defenses in Division II, this one had the makings of an offensive shootout with the Bears and Tigers trading touchdowns early on. Dwayne McGee getting the party started with a 29-yard rushing touchdown. And then Benedict answering right back the very next play, a 58-yard bomb from Anias Davis to Reginald Harden. The Bears would actually find themselves trailing 19 to 14 going into the locker room. But it was a completely different story starting in the third quarter. The defense swarmed to the ball and made plays when it mattered most. And the offense ran wild and free, a career-high 216 yards from McGee, as the Bears would win this one 35 to 25 to reach the quarterfinals and stay alive in the Division II playoffs. I told him, hey, it's it's really something special to be one of eight left, and uh, you need to enjoy every minute with each other, and it's uh, it's. You know, the journey's not over, but it's, it feels good to get a win down here. That's a good football team we played today. So today was the first road playoff win in program history. Now the focus is quickly on to getting number two. As the Bears are once again on the road, they will travel to Valdosta State next week in the quarterfinals. Reporting in Columbia, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV Sports on your side.